All right, guys, we are back and we are better with a new banger. We got the new crib view, as you guys can see. Welcome to the new crib. Um, this call is going to be, I said call. I get to take so many of them calls a day, but this um, video is going to be pretty laid back. Uh, giving you guys a warm welcome into the crib, what we got on the agenda for the next six months. Um, you know, nonstop YouTube videos coming out with nothing but strictly game for you guys and how I even got to where I am, but also just showing you guys in terms of what it is that I genuinely do. And like I said, video after video, I give you guys the free game, almost just the free course of even the course that I even have that's paid. You almost get it for free on YouTube, but I think with the program, of course you have people in there that are absolutely crushing it. And then you also reap the benefit of having myself beside you. But I think this, this uh, video is gonna be more laid back more than anything. I'm not really gonna talk about the business in a way. I guess to just sum it up, yeah, I just help brands core game through TikTok, you guys know this. I make one to six figures a year, it's doing this anywhere from 40 to 50 grand a month. As you guys know, I just moved into my new spot for about a couple months just to sit down and lock in. But yeah, I guess this is the time of the year where a lot of people are kind of on their new year, new me shit. And in reality, I mean, you can't want to take and go into the new year thinking that everything that you've dealt with this year is going to completely erase. If anything, it's going to continue to stay with you until you're able to kind of make that change. And today I just kind of sat through a lot of the shit that I was doing today and kind of realizing and reflecting because throughout this journey, you have to do a ton of reflection. You have to be able to acknowledge in terms of where you are falling short and where you're not reaching your fullest potential and also just be able to confront yourself if you're constantly dicking around or whatever that looks like. But acknowledgement is always the first step. And that's what I tell my students is like, at the end of the day, take accountability for every problem, even if it's not your fault, but also just be able to acknowledge at times when you're just shitting, like dicking around and shitting around and not really doing what you know you need to do. And I deal with that a lot. Like, regardless of the money that I make, I could be making 10X that if I actually fully sat down and fully committed to it. And that's kind of to the point where I've gotten, you know, whereas then I've been blessed to have the life that I live, travel constantly, make the money that I make. And just, you know, God's given me this opportunity, but it's also a point of time where I think sometimes you have to be able to sit down, just truly, truly get that and feel that feeling of being locked in and having that full potential being met. But also I don't ever think you're gonna reach your full potential because like I always say, there's a mountain, there's always a mountain to climb and there's never gonna be a top. But throughout this mountain, as you climb, you will expect and go through things rather than, you know, loss of air or, you know, climate change or coder than the other, basically highs and lows. and that's exactly what makes it all worth it, right? The climb, not really necessarily trying to figure out what's the top. And that's one thing that I've been able to even figure out throughout this journey is learning how to detach myself from the in outcome and income, right? Being able to kind of making sure that I'm putting in my daily inputs regardless of whatever the outcome may looks like. And that's just something I've been able to stick with me forever, since ever. Like, honestly, like even putting out a thousand YouTube videos, like, yeah, I'm at 5K subscribers, but damn, I, I, damn, I damn near know, like, Eventually, I look back at this video and I'll be at 100,000, then I'll build a million. But just knowing that not taking no for answer and not stopping has got me to where I am today. And it's almost like I just brute force my way to success, trying to make my 10, first 10K, you know, four years, five years of consistently trying. And then guess what? Eventually, everything hit. Whereas it may have seen overnight to a lot of people. Like my first success was on TikTok. And this is kind of how I even got into this game of making money online for TikTok and brands was I had 30 plus dropshipping stores. God told me to get on the TikTok. It happened to be the right time, right place before people knew about TikTok and you can market. Next thing you know, posted a couple of videos. I did 120 grand in two nights at 17, 18. And leading up to that, it was so many times where I just wanted to quit, give up. Like I mentioned, I always mention this, I worked 20 plus jobs before I was even 18. But there it goes to show like 20 plus jobs. I mean, it took me 20 jobs to realize like this life was not for me, but there was something within me wanted to, to keep going and keep trying out different jobs, maybe figure out if that was something that was gonna click. And I found myself into online business and then kind of trying online business for over and over, put myself in debt. And it was like something that I knew I was doing, but I continuously did it because I knew eventually it would all play out. And that's exactly how I got to where I am today. Whereas then I just kept doing it and I kept testing and kept learning. I kept trying to figure out what was I failing, failing again, failing some more and then figuring out and then kind of making some success there. Did 120 grand in two nine, realized I could do it for brands. First year did a quarter million helping brands. And now I do the same thing still to this day. And now I teach it at scale and it's got me here. So now it's gotten to the point where, okay, I've built up, I've, I've done the kind of like the beginning work as a beginner, you know, putting my time and effort out. It's like, I gotta get back to that and do it at the next level to get to the next level. Cause I can't keep doing the same shit I was doing at 10, 15, 20 K to get me to 100, 200, 300, 400 K. It just won't work that way. There's always gonna be levels and gradually as you grow older, as you mature, you'll realize you can't be doing the same shit to get you somewhere different. You gotta be doing different shit to get you somewhere in a different spot. So like I said, this channel is just gonna be as transparent as possible. You guys will be able to see this entire journey from now it's a three to four months down the line because I'm doing the daily input 109 days of consistently posting without a missed day. 
and you guys will be able to walk through and see everything I do transparently for my company, for my program, for my students, from what I do with companies and watching it all unfold step by step and walking through mentally, physically, spiritually on how I'm going about it. So hope you guys love this. Enjoy the new view. Enjoy the new crib. A lot of bangers going to be coming from everywhere within this house. I'm actually going to get a sauna and I might do a video on the sauna, which is going to be really sick. But appreciate you guys, the support. Love you guys and keep on. And say what's up to my boy, Devin. Devin. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. See you guys. Peace.